the secrets of the machine. The beasts of metal endure longer than the flesh of men. This much is true. But beasts are made to suffer under the mastery of men. Through pain we bring obedience. Through suffering we bring loyalty. An easy matter for one of my skills. We shall feast on the constructs of Metallica. We will bring the Iron Skulls to their knees and reforge them anew. As she wishes, so shall it be done. But not for her. My time is coming. Greetings friend and welcome to the Imperium's Most Wanted. I'm Lorcan, and this is Only War. He is an insidious spreader of anarchy. He is the Archlord Discordant of Abaddon's Black Legion. With vessels under his command alongside Typhus's plague fleet, he could be about to harvest the machine spirits of the sacred artifices of the Hive World Metallica. Vex Machinator is not his true name, but whatever names he held long ago are now known only to him and kept as his closest secret. For he knows the power to bind that comes from knowing the true name all too well. Vex Machinator is the name bestowed on him for the terrible power he possesses over the mechanical. The Arch Lord Discordant would most likely have started life as an Astartes, a tech marine chosen from the ranks of his chapter, due to his affinity and aptitude with machines, to make the pilgrimage to Mars and become a fully initiated member of the cult Mechanicus. This long and arduous process only sees the Astartes awarded the Machina Opus Icon that denotes a tech priest adept, after three decades of complete emergence in the doctrines and dogma of the followers of the Omnissiah. Once the traitor legions fell during the Horus Heresy, their tech marines twisted that ideology and sought to subjugate the machine spirits they had previously treated with such reverence. Free from the constraints of the ideology of the Adeptus Mechanicum, forbidden archaeotech from the Dark Age of technology was explored and bent to the will of the corrupted, the former tech marines of the fallen legions becoming twisted into followers of the dark powers known as warp smiths. Whether he was a son of Horus, or from one of the other traitor legions to rally to Abaddon's cause at the end of the legion wars that raged through the Eye of Terror, is unknown. But what is certain is that from the founding of the Black Legion, his rise to prominence within the war host of the Despoiler has been assured. Vex Machinator is the, is the Archlord Discordant of the Black Legion. These particular warpsmiths ride into the fray atop their insectoid hellstalker mounts, chanting profane litanies as their nightmarish beasts skitter with unearing speed across the battlefield, seeking to gorge on the motive force of the vehicles of their enemies. The invocations of the Lord Discordant cause Vox systems to crackle and fail, non-demonic machinery to short-circuit and the targeting augurs to cease actioning, all while the Hellstalker strafes the foe with autocannon rounds, plumes of terrible warp fire from a bale flamer. Once in range of its target, the demon engine will pounce upon the vehicle, its bladed limbs capable of piercing the strongest armour. In its moor, it carries either a magma cutter to further dissect a pinned vehicle, or the enormous hypo-armor syringes of the techno-virus injector that can insert corrupting scrap code or demonic data phages directly into the circuitry of its stricken target. A Lord Discordant is typically augmented with flailing bionic appendages known as mecha tendrils, which soak up the electrical discharges of dying machine spirits as easily as they can rip open the hulls of vehicles. In their armoured hands, they typically wield an impaler chain glaive, an ancient weapon capable of further exposing the delicate inner workings of the enemy vehicle with rending force. 
The Lord Discordant can feel the machine spirit's pain. They sense the engagement of the fallback mechanisms as it struggles to maintain just the most vital of functions. The Hellstalker too feeds off this suffering, feasting parasitically on the pained motive force of the downed machine, harvesting the tortured machine spirits to either reinvigorate other demon engines or to be unleashed as a devastating beam of corrupt energy against their foes. Vex is held in very high regard by Abaddon, having proved his usefulness time and time again. He does not, however, hold a position in the War Master's very closest circle, the Azikarion. This would be pertinent as his ability to sow distrust and bring division exceeds that of any Lord Discordant. It is possible he operates nominally under the command of the mistress of the arsenal, Serexia, at least on some occasions. The governess of the demon forge of Gallium has held her position in the closest of the War Master's inner circle, ever since aligning her cult of destruction forces with the Black Legion and adding the considerable industrial resources of her forge world to vastly increase their might. The last confirmed sighting of Vex Machinator was part of the invasion force led by Abaddon, known as the War of Beasts, that cut through the Vigilus system all the way to the surface of Vigilus itself, and its prime position as the gateway for those who wished to traverse the Sicacrix Melodictum through the Nakmund Gauntlet. Here he may have aided the Chaos Sorcerer Vorash Soul Flayer, a master of possession, in the creation of the demon engines that flowed out from the forge in Furnace on the fallen world of Nemendgast at the start of the campaign. The process of creating these foul abominations requires the sorcerous magic of the Master of Possession with the aid of their Venom Crawlers. Venom Crawlers are demon engines created from a forced symbiosis between an arachnid-like structure and the demonic entities drawn from the warp. Venom Crawlers are able to hunt down and devour their eldritch kin to extract and store their tortured spirits within their bulbous abdomens. These fell energies fuel the weaponry of the Venom Crawler, but can also be used as a reservoir of sorts to be siphoned to create other demon engines. Few demon spirits would willingly allow themselves to be bound to the mechanical constructs of the warp smiths, yet through dark alchemy and torturous rituals they are bent to the will of their heretic creators, becoming towering abominations of living metal and rage. Vex then joined the invasion of Vigilus personally, first joining up with the ravaging berserkers of the World Eaters on the Lutheran Isles to assault Otec Hivesprawl's precipitation facilities before the extent of the gene stealer cult reach there became apparent and the forces of the despoiler moved their focus elsewhere. The Arch Lord Discordant joined the Purge and other forces to take the densely populated hive sprawl of Dontonia. Here, Vex atop his Hell Stalker personally spearheaded a host of his demon engines alongside blood letters of corn mounted on huge bestial juggernauts to smash through the Cadian Guard forces attempting to hold the Zimitria breach. It was here that his particular blessings of the ruinous powers showed their worth. The foul ore of corruption that Vex exudes means that he brings extreme strife, panic and despair in his wake. This insidious atmosphere affects both men and machine alike. Machine spirits turn on even the most dutiful of operators in his presence, and the most disciplined of soldiers can fall into complete disarray as he approaches. While his miasma of anarchy can affect both friend and foe, it was the normally disciplined Cadian guardsmen who suffered the most at the Zimitria breach. Shorn of their ability to follow the orders of the chain of command by overwhelming paranoia and fear, the guard forces fail to focus fire their targets amongst the massive war engines and demons that assaulted their positions. They were ground mercilessly into the ashen wastes 
beneath the brass-shod hooves of the hellish attackers. Vex's ability to infest the minds of others extends to his occasional allies within the Black Legion, and he is known to have curried great favour with Abaddon by foiling the schemes of the treasonous demon prince Shamba Igra Trist. By joining the conspiracy to overthrow the War Master as a double agent, Vex soon sowed dissent and division amongst the war leaders. Creeping paranoia gnawed at the conspirators, and their alliance quickly collapsed in an orgy of slaughter as they fell upon each other without mercy. In the end, only the Arch Lord survived, emerging from the bloodbath atop his Hellstalker, covered in gore, and with his standing within the Legion greatly enhanced. And now we've reached the end of our look at Vex Machinator, Arch Lord Discordant of the Black Legion, and possible looming threat in the Charidon War Zone. Let me know in the comments if you feel we could see Vrax getting a more major role in the upcoming campaign, alongside Typhus. And if you have any suggestions for characters you'd like to see covered in the Imperium's Most Wanted in the Future. If you've enjoyed this little analysis and speculation, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel for my next 40k lore video. And I'll see you again in the near future, where there is only war.